What's up everyone, this is Cybernaut, and tonight I have some Yu-Gi-Oh! news for you guys. I am very proud to say that uh, it looks like Raw isn't the only god card getting new support this year, because we actually have some new support for Slifer the Sky Dragon and Obelisk the Tormentor. That has been revealed tonight, which, uh, again, I'm so happy about that. I was hoping it would happen. I know a lot of you guys were hoping the same, whatever I announced doing Dragon Raw stuff, I think, when that came out, and when I did the openings, because we even have that now in English. But anyway, these new cards are going to be part of the premium god box that's coming out for Japan. Uh, we're probably not going to get this set. I mean, you know, it's usually one of those big things that come out at the end of the year. But I do think we're going to get all these new cards in either like a new legendary decks or a legendary collection. Like I, ha I have a feeling we'll probably get this like early next year. Like I would say first quarter would be my guess. Of course, nothing revealed. That's just my guess really from seeing all this kind of stuff before. So I can see it being like a legendary collection thing. But anyway, not only do we have support for the god cards, we even have Golden Idol, which is a new Thousand Eyes Idol, new card for Pegasus, which is pretty cool as well. So I thought I would talk about all these today, and if you guys want to see more Yu-Gi-Oh! news videos in the future, you want me to kind of return to that in the future, let me know by hitting that like button, and let me know in those comments. It really helps with the algorithm. Uh, I'll just admit it. So yeah, let's go ahead and talk about these cards, and let me know what you guys think. In the description too, I have a link so you can follow along with me, and you can read off the effects yourself. Anyway, first off, we have Thunder Force Attack. It is a quick play spell. Its effect is you can activate one card with this card's name per turn. This card's activation effect cannot be negated. If you control a monster whose original name is Slifer the Sky Dragon, destroy as many face up monsters your opponent currently controls as possible. Then, if this card was activated during your main phase, you control cards equal to the number of monsters destroyed and sent to your opponent's graveyard by this effect. But you uh, can attack with only one monster this turn. Yeah, that is a very scary card for Slifer. Here's a little bit better image. This card is stupid powerful because, as you guys know, first off, I guess this is kind of like the second mouth thing for Slifer. You know how he had that in the anime as well, where you could destroy some monsters easily. And uh, basically from this, you're going to be able to get rid of some monsters that could be a problem. And then also you get to draw a card for each monster, and you know how Slifer works, of course. Whether it's in the anime or the actual card, with every card in your hand, he gains a thousand attack points. So, if your opponent had a ton of monsters, and you're drawing cards off of those, he's just gaining attack like crazy. So, then after that, only one monster can attack, let Slifer attack, and just go for game. I mean, seriously, that is a really cool effect, and it's kind of like what happened Wing Dragon Raw. The new support cards made him almost like he was in the anime. So this reminds me of like how Slifer is really scary in the anime. So I love this new card. I think it's really cool. Maybe a little bit niche because not many people are going to be running, of course, Slifer or something. But in a deck that you do want to run it, it's going to be a lot of fun for sure. Then, of course, after that, we have Fist of Fate. This one is also a qu quick play uh, spell card. and Its effect is you can only activate one card with this card's name per turn. Uh, this card's activation effect cannot be negated. If you control a monster whose original name is Obelisk the Tormentor, negate the effects of one face-up effect monster your opponent controls, and if you do, destroy it. And if you do that for the rest of this turn, its effects are negated, as well as the activation effects and effects on the field of monsters with the same original name. Then if this card was activated during your main phase, you could destroy all spell and trap cards your opponent controls. So this is basically the same idea, I guess, as the Slifer card, mainly just making it so you can get a monster out of the way but it's also like a heavy storm, I guess, to go with your Regeki. Because the Slifer card is more like a Regeki, you're destroying monsters. And then, of course, getting a power boost off it and drawing cards. But this one is more get rid of the back row stuff, which, again, is pretty good. I, I wouldn't say as good, because you're not getting as much of a power up, I would say, you know. But it can't be negated, and if you're going against something that does run a lot of back row, which these days, again, that's kind of a negative, you don't see that much back row with most decks, this could come in handy. I don't know. I, I love it anyway because Obelisk is my favorite god card, but um, I don't see this one as being as good. But again, it's it's kind of niche and it looks fun, so I, I'm going to try it out. I mean, plain and simple. Then after that, we have Exchanging Souls. This is another quick play. Its effect is you can only activate one card with this card's name per turn. During the main phase, immediately after this effect resolves, Tribute Summon one Divine Beast monster. When you do, you can also tribute monsters your opponent controls as you controlled them, but uh, you can only activate one card or effect other than Divine Beast Monster's effect once per turn uh, until the end of this turn. Yeah, this is another one that, that I was saying that even though it has Obelisk in the artwork, it's technically for all the God cards. Like this is something you could even use with the Winged Dragon or Frog. 
basically it's making it a lot easier to summon them. I mean, plain and simple, this is a way you can get out any of the god cards easily on your side of the field, and that sounds amazing. But also, too, if I'm not mistaken, I think this would work, too, with, like, Obelisk, because you tribute two monsters, use Obelisk effect, wipe out your opponent's field, do that 4,000 damage. So could you tribute your opponent's monsters, then, as part of it? I'm not really sure on that part. That's kind of something, I know it's late as I'm recording this and stuff, too, so that could be a stupid idea from me, so I'll admit that. Let me know. But, uh, plain and simple, I mean, we do know this is going to be a good card to help you bring out the god cards. And that's good in itself. I mean, that's the hardest part with the god cards, right? Being able to bring them out easily. And they've gotten some cards to make it a little easier, but another one to do it and also get rid of your opponent's monsters, that's big. Especially being able to tribute your opponent's monsters too. I mean, like what the Kaijus do and Lava Golem and stuff. Think about it. Your opponent has Dragoon. Who cares? <laughs> you know? Tribute that Dragoon. They have whatever boss monster they have. Who cares? Tribute it. You get a god card out of it. That's still pretty dang good. That does help even against some more competitive decks out there. Again, I see these cards as being more casual because, uh, to be honest, we don't see really god cards and, and big time anime cards do too well in the meta, which is always a shame. I would, I would love it if these were meta and would destroy everything. And I hope I'm proven wrong on it, but I still love this card. It looks like a lot of fun and uh, that's a pretty powerful effect. And then the last one, we have this card for Pegasus. Let's see. It is Golden Idol, a dark spellcaster effect monster, level 1, 0 attack, and 0 defense. Its effect is, you can only use this card's name's uh, to effect once per turn. Once per turn, quick effect, you can look at your opponent's hand. Also, this card's name becomes Thousand Eyes Idol until the end phase. If this card is banished or sent to the graveyard by a card effect, you can target one effect monster your opponent controls, equip it to one of your relinquished or eyes restrict monsters that cannot be a normal summoner set. While, this, while that uh, monster is equipped by this effect, the monster it is equipped uh, gains attack equal to the equipped monsters. Alright, so I know the wording is a little bit everywhere on that, mainly because it's translated and I probably didn't read that the best. Basically, what this does is that it can count as, of course, Thousand Eyes Idol, so it can help you go for the different relinquish, like, you know, Thousand Eyes Restrict, basically. And also... What this does, it helps you get one of your opponent's monsters after it's been fused, you know, as part of that. Then you can get one of your opponent's monsters and then equip it to that relinquished or ice restrict monster. That can be even millenniumized, by the way. So being able to do that, let's say, well, I'm just going to use Blue Eyes as an example because we all know what Blue Eyes is, all right? You just take it from your opponent's side of the field, equip it to that ice restrict monster or relinquished, and then your ice restrict monster or relinquished will gain that 3,000 attack. Yeah, because you're getting the attack from that monster as well. And not not only are you taking your opponent's monsters, you're getting that power from them too. So a really scary effect, basically there to help you set up for your Ice Restrict or Relinquish. So honestly, good support for them. I mean, we already know that the Ice Restrict monsters and Pegasus in general got some pretty good support from Legendary Duelists, which all that stuff got reprinted recently. So shouldn't be that expensive, really, if you want to pick it up to get ready for this card. But yeah, they actually got some good support, too. I'm glad to see that. They have their own fusion already, their own polymerization, millenniumize, and all that different stuff. So, actually seeing a new Thousand Eyes uh, idol for them, too, is pretty dang awesome. So, yeah. What do you guys think about these new cards? Are you excited about them? Not so excited about them? Of course, too, these are all reprints. I mean, we could get these reprints, too. I don't think any of them are too crazy for us, but... Yeah, it's a lot of obvious stuff, but let me know what you guys think about this. When this product comes out for Japan, I do plan to pick it up. I'll have an opening on it, too, for you guys, and I'm sure as more cards get revealed, I'll do more videos, too. So let me know if you want more Yu-Gi-Oh! news on this channel. I want to bring back some variety on this channel. I'm still going to open up more than I should, but <laughs> I, I do want to do a little bit more variety because I'm just... I don't know. I, I want to do that kind of stuff, and uh, besides that, uh, a video that I can talk about God cards... I'm doing that. I'm excited. Like I said, these might not be the most meta competitive cards, but I don't give a crap. You know, I, I love these. They're God cards. And you know what? I, again, I hope I'm proven wrong and somebody can win a YCS with them. I would love that. Seriously, I'd give anything to see that. So let me know what you guys think. Like and subscribe. I appreciate all of that. Thank you guys for watching. And of course, I will catch you guys later. See ya.